Hello YouTube, Dogfoot9 here, and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. And today, we're on our second to last episode for FIFA 13 Arsenal Career Mode anyway. I'm probably going to start off with an Arsenal Career Mode on FIFA 14, but then I'm probably going to move to, you know, I might move to a championship team, I might move to uh, maybe someone who's like mid-table in Premier League, or I might move totally abroad um, to someone in League 1, League B, BFA, Syria, um, Bundesliga, I might move to one of those teams um, you guys will have to tell me and also I want you guys to give me some transfer targets um, for my first season which is going to be at Arsenal um, so I want you to give me a couple of those um, and um, also um, just like give me any tips or anything which can improve the series I'm always looking for ways to improve this series and especially with FIFA 14 coming around the corner I'll be able to improve that like straight away when the game first comes out so anyway um, I've got the like upload schedule for the next couple of days. I'm going to be uploading t um, well today, Tuesday, um, uploading on Thursday, and I'm also going to be uploading on Saturday. Hopefully, if I've got some game, well, I will have some gameplay from FIFA 14. But if I can put the game down and edit it all together, the footage and stuff, because um, FIFA 14 looks more in depth with transfers now, with like. Um, your scouting networks and stuff like that so I'll have to look at a way of editing that because it did take me a bit of time when um, I first started this series to work out um, how I was going to edit stuff and everything like that but um, Cremo is going to be out first and then we'll start some ultimate team stuff and Lewis Muriel here gets a nice easy goal for us and that scores pretty well um, and just puts it around the keeper there and then once again from the clearance here Muriel um, gets into Lewandowski and Lewandowski he um, hits it on his shoulder it was a pretty poor touch but Muriel gets it back on the wing here and um, cuts back inside gets it between two guys and he passes it into Ozil and Ozil puts it straight underneath the keeper to get us um, that 2-0 lead but Chelsea they aren't going to take that line down and they um, do counter here with Benzema um, who gets onto the ball here uh, and passes it through here I pulled my defender too far away from the man he should have been marking and maybe Couture should have saved that um, head of that um, on goal but he didn't unfortunately and it did bring uh, Chelsea a bit back into this match uh, there um, Chelsea they did pull back really quickly, I was expecting to be able to get that through ball over the top, but unfortunately we couldn't. Um, but we do get regained possession really quickly. And Lewandowski with quite a well, really placed, really well placed uh, shot there, and it goes past the keeper. I didn't expect Petr to check to be um, to miss that, but he did. And then some <laughs> on the well, on the line defending near enough. If he'd have got that wrong, he probably would have given a penalty away. Well, it would have given away a penalty. But we get a nice easy breakaway here. Uh, we slightly like, oh, pass it back to Muriel, who's playing in more of a camp position it seems at the moment. And um, he seems to have moved back. I think Serzo's moved up, and Maiachi takes it on the half volley and blasts it into a top, um, into a bottom corner there, and that makes it 3-1. Um, I think we well, yeah 4-1. Sorry, um, and Chelsea. They do break away here, and this, I'm sure it wasn't a foul. I mean, I did take both of his legs from him, so that wasn't a foul. <laughs> Even though I nearly picked him up and threw him over my head, um, I don't think I would have been a foul in real life. Um, because it was a really well-timed tackle. Um, and we didn't get a yellow card given away there. Um, but Couture, he's in net here, and I don't know what happened with his penalty. I think I was stood too far to um, the right somehow, even though I was in the centre. But the, the end. Um, it's all over. Um, hits um, Couture's leg and goes in. I think he well, tried to come over for the score. The win kick, against their he knew that even if today, they did score, local really rivals wanted too much. Um, but, um, oh, yeah, he does I mean, have the goal to win. And this match has been endless, it seems. He has scored for Chelsea there on that penalty. Um, that penalty really means absolutely nothing. Um, so, I, I think I would have been a bit disheartened if I tried as well as he did. Um, and still lost 4-2. I mean, it wasn't even really that close. Um, Chelsea's defence, they were a bit, you know, um, they were a bit hit and miss there in that game. Sometimes they were really doing well. David Luiz, though, he did get pulled out of position quite a bit. And that allowed us to get in and um, just get into really good opportunities. I mean, it didn't really shut down our passing too much, so that allowed players like Ozil to work it around them um, and get into a it in behind them and just slot it past the keeper like we did about well three of, out of four times near enough there uh, and we're just setting up our team here for West uh, well uh, Bolton I mean um, and Bolton they've just been newly promoted and they are in 17th uh, so if they lose today I think Southampton win and um, then they 
might get relegated, I think it is. Um, um, it depends on goal difference. Um, so I did kind of put a youth team out because I knew, well, obviously we'd, we'd won the league quite a few episodes ago um, now. But I did want to finish the um, end of the season on a high. But I would have felt bad if I had put Bolton out. But someone had to go down um, with Blackburn and uh, I can't remember who the other t team was. Um, but um, we did start off pretty badly here with Farrain, who. Um, gives away a penalty pretty much straight away within 10 minutes I think it was or yeah I think it was within the first 10 minutes and they step up here and how about he just couldn't go the right way put it the same way near enough in the same place that Benzema put it in the last episode, in the last game and we couldn't get to it but then El Shawari steps onto the ball with his left foot and blasts it and equalises for us and he did a backflip to celebrate <laughs> which is totally around right me because it's the last game of the series, so, uh, season so we did have a bit of fun and um, we've got one game left um, after this one and that's in the Champions Cup and um, I would show you the World Championship but I haven't got enough time and really I've got Spain so hopefully I'm doing I'm doing quite I should win. I think the lowest rated player I've got in my entire team, even on reserves, is like eighty one or something like that. Oh, it might be Diego Capello, um, who's eighty, so um, and he's my reserve right wing, so that shows you how good my squad is um, for Spain. So I'm not really expecting to lose that, I'll probably not even play it. But here, Bolton do save themselves from get releg getting relegated, so Southampton must have lost or drawn. Um, so that means we get some random celebration here for winning the league. We didn't get to see us getting the trophy, but that's alright because we knew we won it ages ago. So anyway guys, join me next time for the last episode of the series, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.